Hello girls! This is Miss Gasparini with another math video for my lovely first grade mathematicians. This week we've been talking a lot about regrouping in two-digit addition. We've practiced using our strategies to help us regroup and practiced regrouping when adding really big numbers together. Now we're going to keep practicing using word problems. So I gave you this word problem yesterday as your challenge, and I'm going to read it to you now. It says, Tyler rode her bike for 14 minutes on Monday and 27 minutes on Tuesday. How many minutes did Tyler ride her bike? All right. So as usual, when we're doing a word problem, we need to underline the information we need to know and the information we want to know. So let's reread and underline that information. Tyler rode her bike for 14 minutes on Monday, so there's a number, and 27 minutes on Tuesday. Let me circle that too. And this is a question. How many minutes did Tyler ride her bike? And the question is what I want to know. So I'm going to underline that too. So I know Tyler rode her bike for 14 minutes on Monday and 27 minutes on Tuesday, and I just want to know how many minutes she rode her bike. So if I just want to know how many minutes total, I'm adding, and the two numbers I have are 14 and 27, so I'm going to do 14 plus 27, Oops. let me go back, 14 plus 27 equals, hmm? And remember, when we're doing a word problem, we need to have a written response. So I'm going to say Tyler rode her bike minutes. Okay, so that's all set. Now I'm going to go ahead and solve the problem. So I've already set up my place value picture chart. I have one 10 and four ones on top for 14. And I have two tens and seven ones on bottom for 27. I'm also going to have to set that up vertically. I'm going to have one 10 and four ones for 14 plus two tens and seven ones for 27. I always look at the one side first. I'm going to add up four ones plus seven ones. So let's add them up right now. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We have eleven ones. What are we noticing about the number eleven? Yeah, there's a ten in it. Eleven is more than ten. So can I put a ten in the ones place? No, I need to regroup. So let's count up 10 ones to regroup. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Here are my 10 ones. I'm going to regroup them. I'm going to make them into one 10. Boom. And that means I have how many ones left over? I have one one left over. So I have one one plus the 10 I made when I regrouped those 10 ones that I'm going to represent here. So I have the two tens and the one 10 I was adding originally plus my new 10. So how many tens do I have? Yeah, I have four tens. 2 plus 1 plus 1 is 4. So that means I end this with 4 tens and 1 1, which means how many minutes did Tyler ride her bike? Yeah, she rode her bike for 41 minutes. 4 tens and 1 is 41. 14 plus 27 is 41. Tyler rode her bike. for 41 minutes.
You guys did really great with that. I know you're going to keep doing well when you do your work today. Let's look at our last challenge problem of the week. It's another word problem. It says Isabella had 36 Barbie dolls. She received 18 more Barbies for her birthday. How many Barbies does Isabella have now? I know you girls are going to do great on this. Keep working hard and we will be back again to talk about this tomorrow. And I hope you have a great day.